you're the kind of person who likes to fly business class, but you also have a big family, and the Ford Galaxy has been built especially for you. Due to the sheer amount of interior space, this is essentially the jumbo jet of the car world, and you can slide the seats individually and recline them, although that might annoy passengers behind you. Plus, you get these aircraft style roof bins. Look at that. To store all your bits and bobs in. Plus, if you go for the panoramic glass roof, it doesn't matter, even the person that sits here gets a window seat. But what's life like in the cheap seats? It's very easy to get into the back row because of the way the seat slides forward. And then, when you slide it back, you'll see there's plenty of room for adults back here. So think premium economy rather than cattle class. Here in the front of the Galaxy though, it's very much first class thanks to lots of soft touch materials which extend all the way down here. You even get an aircraft style parking brake and a handy feature so that you can keep your eye out for any air rage. Now I promise that's the last airplane reference I'm going to make, okay? Because we've got to move on because you're obviously going to want to know about storage. Well, the centre cubby, it's deep enough to get your arm in this far. I mean, look at that. And then, where the heck's my watch gone? The side door bins, they're large enough for even big bottles. You can also get some handy under seat drawers. Oh, there it is. Well, it's easy to find your ideal driving position. I mean, look how much height adjustment I've got here. In terms of standard equipment, you get climate control, Bluetooth mobile phone connectivity, and parking sensors as standard. Plus all cars come with front, side, and full length curtain airbags, plus one for the driver's knee. The Galaxy also has impressive load space, especially when you fold down all the seats. Obviously, a car such as this is designed primarily with comfort in mind. And in this respect, the Galaxy doesn't disappoint at all. I mean, it positively glides over bumps in the road as if they're not there. And this, plus the whisper quiet cabin, means that your family will find it very easy to drift off to sleep. And then when they're snoozing, you'll be free to enjoy the Galaxy's fine handling, which is way better than you'd expect from a large MPV. Dare I say it? I think Ford have managed to prove that practicality and fun don't have to be mutually exclusive. All the Galaxy's controls feel suitably light enough for driving about round town, and the all-round visibility is incredible. I mean, there's so much glass that it feels a bit like you're driving around in a mobile greenhouse. You could probably even grow some tomatoes in here. However, there's no getting away from the fact that the sheer size of this thing does make it a little bit tricky for nipping about through traffic. And when it comes to finding a parking space, all I can say is good luck. And then there's the 1.6 litre diesel engine in this car because it pulls away from junctions, come on, with all the urgency of a giant sloth on Valium. Other downsides? Well, you can't get sliding rear doors like you can on a Seat Alhambra. It depreciates faster than a VW Chiron. And it's pretty expensive when you consider that Ford's very own S-Max isn't really much smaller. But if you want one of the largest, most luxurious and best handling MPVs, then the Galaxy is hard to beat. No wonder it's so good at taxiing. And by the way, that wasn't another airplane reference, all right?